Hello. I'm going to do a uh, mini review of The Rise of Skywalker, which I saw about an hour ago locally, maybe about a five minute walk from where I am now. And I'm going to do this review because it's different to what you tend to hear on the internet. Um, what well, people sort of watch a film for the sake of it because it's popular and then they like think they know everything there is to know about it because it's like in the media whereas when I saw Star Wars in 1977 I didn't go to see it because it's popular or it's in the media and so forth I saw Star Wars in 1977 because it's a good story. I didn't really care who was in it. And it turned out to be a good story when I ended up seeing it. So I liked it ever since, including the two sequels. And so I went back to see the uh, prequels uh, when they came out, which I think was 1998, I think. And I liked them because it filled in uh, the gap because there was a history gap uh, prior to episode four, A New Hope. So it was, as a real fan, since 1977, it was really important to see the uh, prequels. And I enjoyed them. And I liked the, um, the uh, separate stories as well. Rogue One and uh, the Han Solo backstory, that was really good. That's coming from a real fan, by the way, not someone who just jumps on the bandwagon because they're popular. And so I finally got to see um, The Phantom Menace when it came out, and that was pretty good. That was a modernised version of what came before. So overall I liked it. It was like reminiscent of the past, but also quite new at the same time. So that was a good compromise. Then I got to see um, The Last Jedi, and that was a bit of a mess. It was more like a Disney film and less like a Lucas film. It was probably about half hour you can cut from that movie and make it better. But um, which I noticed as a writer, there's definitely some things that needed to be changed before they released that. There were some good scenes, but one or another of them. Anyway, I got to see Rise of Skywalker eventually. I waited until the crowds died down. So I waited until uh, January 2020. And that was a fast improvement on The Last Jedi. Uh, then again, watching a blank screen would be a vast improvement on The Last Jedi. And that's coming from a real fan. But I, um, I look forward anyway to the uh, the Rise of Skywalker, because I knew they had to do something better for that, and they did. Coming as a coming as a a guy who's been here since 1977, the Rise of Skywalker is a good it's a good fun it's a good finale. It's more like the Phantom Menace and less like the Last Jedi, so at least it's going in the right direction. Had a lot of content had some really good scenes, had a really nice epilogue, and the Rise of Skywalker, it's like the name has risen, not so much the person, maybe the spirit of Skywalker has what's risen. It's a sort of a metaphorical thing, which I quite like. Uh, I suppose they shouldn't have killed off um, uh, Luke Skywalker, but... I suppose they had to do something dramatic because there's, there's always drama in these films. And it ended really well. So I can recommend The Rise of Skywalker to real fans like me. It's a good film, it's well made, and it's a million times better than The Last Jedi. Goodbye.